everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another pick a deck reading which is going to be what is coming up for you in your love life in the month of September 2020. So if you are wanted to know what is going to happen for you in your love life in the month of September, then definitely this reading is for you. I will be adding one oracle card in this reading but no chance will be included. So yeah, um, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. You can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section if you like it. You can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's dive into the reading. Let's find out what is coming up for you. What can you expect happening in your love life in the month of September? I'm going to start with deck one. So let's see. For the people who chose deck one, let's see what is coming up for you in your love life in the month of September 2020, which has already started. I'm recording this video on the... 5th of uh, September, by the way, <clears throat> which is today. So let's see what is coming up for the people who chose first deck in the month of September for their love life. <clears throat> let's see, let's begin. The Emperor, Seven of Pentacles. The Fool, don't give up on a connection just yet. Uh, why? Because this person, you know, no matter what the situation is in your love life right now, no matter uh, what you feel like, uh, this person feels exactly the way you feel for them, committed, deep down. Uh, maybe they are not expressing it yet and you, maybe you would feel like giving up on it. But don't do that. Don't give up on this connection. Um, if you like, you can always detach yourself from this person. If, if you feel like, you know, this person is not going to give you what you want. But this is not the right time to give up on this connection because you are going to have something beautiful with this person by the end of the month. So just stay with them. Page of Cups. Yes, this person is going to get open up about their feelings for you in the month of September. Again, um, this person is somebody that you already know is yours. Uh, but yes, since maybe the things are moving very slow in your love life, you would feel like giving up on this person, especially around the second week time or you know the ending of the first week and the beginning of the second week uh i feel like you know you would feel like giving up on this connection but don't give up because you are going to have something beautiful with this person if and when you feel like giving up on this connection it would be better if you choose to detach yourself from this person for a while for a day for a two or you know for a week maybe but don't give up don't think like you know maybe you need to move on you don't need to move on because you and this person are soulmates and in the deck you do have knight of swords you might have uh, the tendency of uh, you know uh, picking a fight or argument with this person during this time in the month of september that could be the thing that is going on like maybe you will be having a lot of inner chatter uh, mind chatter around this connection around this person you would feel like you know i need to give up on this person i don't i don't know what's wrong with them i don't know why they are doing this i don't know why do I, they are doing that replace all those i don't know why this 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 Replace all those, you know, mind chatters that you are having around this person connection in the month of September with something positive. As if this person is, you know, you can, you know, if they are not talking to you right now, you can always replace that mind chatter um, with something which is desirable. Like, you know, what you desire with this person is they always, always talk to you. They always keep sending you messages. They always keep calling you. They always keep asking you to meet up. So replace your, uh, whatever the situation is, in your mind with something new that you want to happen so stop telling yourself a negative story you can always use affirmations to do so and um, meditation as well so these two things are going to be very important but i do see something positive coming up for you with this person whoever it is that you're dealing with in your love life right now for those of you who are single a person is entering in your life so don't give up on love life like you know don't feel like you know i will always be single you know my this relationship never worked out never will you know uh it ever happen that you know any love relationship will work out for me if that's you if that's your mindset you really have to start thinking positive around your love life stop telling yourself those negative thoughts uh feeding your mind subconscious mind with the same old story which used to be the reason or which has been the reason to bring you what you don't desire in your love life replace that with something positive expect somebody good and committed to come in your life and that's how you will have this new person entering in your love life 
as you move towards the third to fourth week of uh, September. Um, let's take Oracle card now. Let's see what the Oracle has to add to the reading. What can you expect for you? What guidance is there for you in the month of September for your love life? By the way, if you are willing to purchase uh, affirmations from me, which are spiritually charged, you can always reach out to me for that. But check the description box for further details. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus back to love. That's exactly what you need to do. Shift your focus to love, not your fears. The mind chatter, like I mentioned earlier, is coming out of fear because you, you don't see this person talking to you much as much as you would like them to talk. So your fear is like now talking to you, like, you know, maybe they are not interested in you, maybe this and that. You're overthinking and you are, you know, overthinking about negative thoughts. You need to feed that and replace that uh, with something positive filled with love. They always talk to you. They always think of you. They always miss you. They do this and that. So just do that and you will have it. Let me see what else can I pick up from this card, the imagery on this card. If you see a rainbow, you are on the right path. Um, number seven, 7th of uh, September could be um, a good day for you in terms of changing your mindset around this person and this connection. Maybe you will feel like, you know, something is changing within you around this person, around this connection, around the mindset that you are having. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Coming up for the people who chose the first uh, deck, this is what you can expect to come for you in your love life in the month of September. If the reading resonates with you, do like, share, and subscribe. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always do that by reaching out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye. Let's move on to the second deck. Let's see for the people who chose second deck. Let's see what is heading towards you in your love life in the month of September 2020. <clears throat> Let's begin the hair fun, four of cups, seven of wands, the world, and in the deck we do have the judgment. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations are going to get answered in the month of uh, September, especially for those of you who have been single for quite some time or who have been praying to reconcile with a specific someone. You will be having an unexpected call or a message from this person. When I say unexpected, it's it's more like, you know, you might not be expecting it to come now, even though you will have this firm belief that this is what you want, especially when it applies to somebody from your past and you want to reconcile with this person. You would be like, you know, uh, you might have left it on God or the universe to bring this person to you. You would not be putting any effort into, you know, the physical effort to reach out to this person. If that's you, then this person is going to be sending you a message out of nowhere, contacting you out of nowhere. You will be maybe, you know, bumping into each other out of nowhere. And that's how you will start seeing the changes in your love life with this person. That could be the, you know, uh, case for some of you. For those of you who are completely single, I feel like, you know, you would be wishing and hoping and praying. Hold on. So, yeah, I don't know what where I was right now, but yeah, let me start again. Um, for those of you who are completely single and who really wants to have somebody in their love life right now and you really wish and uh, desire that, you know, somebody should enter in your life, I would suggest you to do one thing. Meditate around it. Uh, use affirmations around it. Then let things go, like let things go out of your mind. Don't get so caught up into, you know, trying to manifest somebody in your life, somebody new in your love life, where you start feeling the lack of them, where you start feeling like, you know, you don't have that one person in your love life right now. So what you need to do, especially for those of you who are single, I feel like, you know, all you need to do right now, especially in the beginning of the month is... Um, for some of you, I feel like you will be already doing that. You will be connecting yourself to your God, whatever religion you believe in and or belong to and believe in, whatever God you believe in. You will be connecting yourself in the very beginning of the month with your God. So you could pray, you could connect, you could ask, you could seek help in, in this whole situation. And I do see somebody um, entering in your love life. Be that as a proposal, arranged marriage situation, be that as the person entering in your life who could have the potential to be somebody special in, in your life later on. But I do see somebody entering in your life, um, I would say love life, because 
that's what we are talking about here. But I do see somebody entering in your life. Maybe if it's not somebody entering in your love life, maybe you are going to meet a friend or have a new person in your life who could be a reason or who could be the connect between you and your person. So I do see something is coming up for you, especially for those of you who have been very uh, feeling lonely in recent times because they didn't have anybody in their love life. You might end up meeting a new person who could be the one or who could be the reason where you or how you could meet the person that you are designed to be with. So eventually I do see your uh, your prayer getting answered around your love life, be that you are single, be that you are, you know, uh, expecting some sort of change coming for you in your love life with a specific someone. I do see that happening. But yes, the key here would be connecting to your God, connecting to the source, connecting to the universe. That's how you are. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, with that connection that you're going to have, what you're going to do is get the help that you need in this particular situation. For majority of you, I feel like, you know, there are certain things that you need to leave behind. It could be past mental blocks. It could be past relationships. It can be um, negative beliefs around love and relationship. It can be, for some of you, it can be leaving the ex behind. Maybe you are wishing and hoping to reconcile with the person from your past and you are unable to see the opportunities that are lying ahead for you in the month of September. You might be ignoring those opportunities. You might be neglecting those opportunities because you are so focused and caught up in that one person that you really want to have as your husband, wife, or, you know, whatever. But that person is not the one for you. Maybe you are taking, you know, that person as your soulmate, but in actuality, they are not. They are just there in your life to teach you a lesson which you might have already learned. So again, there are certain things that you need need to leave behind and you would be able to um, understand the, the, the patterns of the universe by um, connecting yourself to the source, to the God that you believe in. When you do that, you will start seeing that, okay, fine, why things didn't work out you know, well between you and the specific person. You will be understand, uh, understanding the, the way things happen. You know, you would be able to basically pick up the pattern that is going on in your love life right now. You will be able to understand that where you felt like, you know, this person is the one and how things never worked out with them because you are basically guided towards somebody who is destined to be your soulmate. So that's going to be the, the uh, I feel like you know, it's going to be the time where you are basically, um, going to connect yourself to God to get and seek the guidance that you need um, in terms of having the life that you desire in your love life. Because I feel like you know, for those of you who chose the second deck, I feel like you know you have been praying a lot. You have been trying to meditate on it a lot. If not, that you will be doing that in the month of uh, September. But the connect between you and God is very important here. The connect between you and the source is very important here. The connect between you and your higher self is very important here. So have that connection built, have that faith built, and then proceed with your love life and everything is going to work out well for you. Um, let me take two more cards underneath the deck. Uh, the judgment, six of cups, the devil, and the ten pentacles. And comes the temperance. <clears throat> Try to, um, like I said in the very beginning, uh, for some of you, you really have to pray, believe, and just let it be. Don't get so addicted to that one person. Don't get so addicted to that one thought that you want this person to be your person. Don't let that, you know, uh, be the center of your attention in the month of September. The more you get addicted to that one person, the more you get addicted and obsessed with that one relationship or one area of your life, the more it is going to be troublesome for you. You know, that one area of your life is going to be troublesome for you. So have the time, have the connect with the God, with the universe. Do the meditation, do the affirmations at one particular time. But don't let that make you feel the lack of it. Because if you overdo certain things, you start having the lack of it instead of having the feeling as if you already have it. So there is a very thin line between both the things. Either you have it, and either you start feeling the lack of it. So just maintain that healthy balance between this area of your life and that area of your life. And so it becomes your reality quick. I would suggest you not to, uh, if you are trying to manifest a specific someone, I would suggest you not to think of that person as your someone because maybe you are, you don't know who that person is going to be. Like you're, you're one forever. I would suggest you to manifest a husband, manifest a wife, instead of manifesting a specific person. Whoever it is that is destined to be your husband or wife will enter in your life and maybe it's maybe it, it is going to end up 
you getting the same person that you love. Maybe it is going to be somebody else. But yes, keep your options open that way. Just try to manifest the love of your life or try to manifest the, the, the man or the one of your life. Because that's going to be um, more satisfying and that connection that you will have will be balanced. Because if you try manifesting someone from your past and um, it's, it's like, let me give you an example. If, if you don't see things happening in the current situation between you and your person, you will start getting uh, annoyed. You will start losing your faith into it. If you let that window open where you let the universe know that this is what I'm wa wishing and hoping for. This is what I want. This is what I desire. I desire to have my husband. I desire to have my, you know, my woman of uh, my life. If you let the universe know that, if your person fits into that criteria, that person is going to enter in your life. If somebody else fits in that criteria, the universe is going to bring you that one person. So if you do the opposite, if you choose to think of a person and if you fail to let go of that thought and you know get too addicted or obsessed with what's going to happen next, it's never going to happen. Your love life will never move forward. Until and unless you change that mindset, until and unless you change that thought. So what you got to do is you got to change and leave behind certain old patterns. Replace them with new ones, replace them with positive ones. And that's how you will be able to have the love life that you desire, which is going to be balanced. So let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading for you guys for this uh, month time. Be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. <sighs> Number 45. Now this card has a different message. For um, for the rest of you, I believe, who chose this deck, I feel like, you know, you and your person um, might be having some issues because they are committed and doing their work diligently. They are committed to their work, finances, building their empire, doing their responsibilities at work front and stuff like that. Now, what you got to do is, again, stop getting obsessed with them and what you desire with them. Why? Because... You have to understand them and their situation. And if you do so, they are, as soon as they get free from their work, whatever it is that, that is keeping them busy, if you show them the patience, if you show them the support, they will end up choosing you as their life partner. So whatever I mentioned earlier, that's, that's all together for different lot of people. This message here is for those of you who could relate to the last story that I mentioned. So yeah, I hope it was of help and if, uh, if the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.